While the four majors have long seen men and women competing in the same fortnight, tour events were generally separated by gender until Butch Buckholt's big idea became a reality. We were just the first to be able to put the two player associations together. By 1985, that idea was realized in Delray Beach, Florida. A few years later, Buckholtz moved the event to Crandon Park in Key Biscayne, just outside of Miami. The event took off. That was the real first non-slam dual gender big tournament, the Lipton, and they had a great facility that opened in 1994, and it outgrew it, and it wasn't permitted to keep growing more, so it was searching for another home, and there were rumors that it might even leave Miami. After several failed legal battles and attempts to expand within Crandon Park, the tournament owners have decided to move its location to a football stadium. Hard Rock Stadium, home to the Miami Dolphins, will host the Miami Open in 2019. It'll feature several upgrades from the current venue. I think it's a great new start for the tournament in Miami. There's been so much talk for so many years. Is it staying? Is it moving? Can they expand? There's no question they need more space. It was a real threat that we was going to leave. I'm so excited that we were able to stay here and just be able to make new, make new memories in the city of Miami. We're going to combine the, the football and the tennis, and this doesn't usually happen ever. So it's going to be really, really fun. Former ATP player James Blake, the new tournament director in Miami, is the perfect fit to oversee the move. James Blake as tournament director is, is a great idea. Uh, this is a player who has the respect not just of the players and of the locker room, but also the, the tennis community at large, great ambassador, presents himself well. I think he's sufficiently young that he still has currency among the players. Some of them have competed against him. They've all seen him at these venues, and yet he also has a certain gravitas well, I'm extremely excited about being part of the Miami Open. It's like building a new house. You get to build it exactly the way you want it. We can configure it the way we want and the way the players want it. We want to uh, make sure that they're happy with their new home in Miami.